Good morning, Orchard STEM School. This is Mr. Hoydick, your art teacher. Today we are going to draw a flower in the style of Georgia O'Keeffe. Now on your Schoology page, there are many tabs that kind of show her artwork. And we've had a discussion about like who exactly she was and why she did what she did. But the main thing I want to take you to take from that is when she would draw her flowers, it would be a close up. She would zoom in and not draw the flower from far away. You can see here's the example that I want to make my drawing like. And I can actually start by making the very middle of the flower. If I want to draw that, I'll just draw like a circle shape. You know what? It uh, I lost a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's better. If I think it's too low, I'll just make it higher. Don't even need to erase that one. There we go. So, I see that there's a semicircle further out from that middle part, and I can just go ahead and make that semicircle. The other blossom kind of comes up with two curving lines and sort of stops here, like that. If I think it's too tall, I'll make it shorter. And finally, the blossom at the top, I don't know, reminds me of a hat. It just kind of goes around here and goes to there. So I have the three shapes that make up this uh, composition, this painting. Now I can start adding more details. So down here, I have two circles. I don't need two. I just need one. And what I can do is just add some details to it. And so I'm going to draw that curving, arcing line coming out. And the cool thing about being a flower is it's an organic shape. It's not a shape that uh, happens in math. It's a natural shape. So if my lines are a little bit squiggly, that's even better. Now the key in creating a Georgia O'Keeffe is really when you color it and shade it. A lot of blending, and we'll talk about that next time. The blending of the picture. Now here I have one of the petals on the top shape. And here I'll make a petal. And up in the top blossom you can see it also radiates the designs radiate from right in the middle and I want to add a little bit of detail down here and a little detail down there and so now I have my basic shapes that will help me create my artwork. If I want to do some lines here to show that what will be white, it's white on the uh, example. And I could kind of do that. Today is going to be a sloppy copy. Again, if we were in the room, if we were in the classroom, in the school, you'd be doing a small, you know, about this size sketch first to get your ideas, to get your shapes, and figure out like which kind of flower you want to do. Use one of her examples that I put in the, uh, uh, in the chat or on the Schoology page to get your ideas on what this could look like. I might even want to make this a little thinner. And I could take out some of my extra lines. So today, you don't need to color. I'd just like to see a sketch. I'd like you to fill the paper. And most of Georgia O'Keeffe's, she zoomed in to look at the flower. It's not a flower from far away. All right. Well, try your best. I can't wait to see your artwork.